Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will see the real time example of RE. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So let us start our session for the day. So before we discuss the practical implementation of using Automation Anywhere robotic interface, first of all we will discuss the flow chart or the flow diagram that we have to implement using RE. So first of all, the first step that you have to perform is to enter the student ID in the user form. So once the student ID is entered, then you need to calculate the percentage for each of the students that are given in the Excel file. So which will be calculated using the result task. So this result task will be invoked once the student ID is entered. After the percentage is calculated, then you need to check whether the percentage is less than 40 or greater than 40 for that particular student. So if it is less than 40, then you need to send the improvement emails to the students. So this is the flow chart or the flow diagram that you have to implement using Automation Anywhere robotic interface. So now that we have seen the flow chart or the flow diagram for the problem statement that we have to implement for the RE process, so now let us start the practical implementation to build. Uh, so now let us start the practical implementation for the problem statement that we have discussed. So first of all, from the Excel basic package, drag and drop the open action. So drag and drop the open action from the Excel basic package, and then select the desktop file tab in the properties section and then browse the file from the required folder location uh, where the file is located. So after selecting the file, select the sheet contains a header checkbox and open the file in read write mode and then create a local session as per your uh, and you can give your name as per your convenience and then click on the save button. This session name will be used further in the Excel uh, activities which will we will be using. The next step that we have to use is the loop package or the loop action from the loop package. So drag and drop the loop action from the loop package and in the iterator drop down select for each row in the worksheet as the operator from the Excel basic package and then loop through all the rows and give the same session name which we have used in the Excel basic open action and then create a variable called as excel row and then click on create and select and then click on the save button. The next step that we have to use is to calculate the expression. So to calculate the expression drag and drop the calc option from the number uh, utility package and over here select the excel row variable and then give the column name so first we will give the column name as scored marks and then we'll give the divide operator and we'll again select the excel uh, excel row variable again give the column name this time we will give the column name as total marks and then click on yes insert close the bracket and then multiply this uh, expression value with 100 and then store the output in a variable called as v total percentage and then uh, you uh, and then check this checkbox that is use as input and then click on create and select and then click on the save button we will round the expression to zero decimal places so to round the expressions uh, drag and drop the round number action from the number utility package 
and select the number to be found that is the source number variable that is v total percentage round off up to zero decimal places and store the output in the same variable and then click on the save button and then use the break action from the loop package and then click on the save button so once this uh, calculate percentage task bot is done the next step is to build the user form where we will enter the student id so in the next section you will see how to build the user form to enter the particular uh, value in this section you will see how to create the user form so in order to create the user form first of all click on the create a form button and then give the name to your form enter student id and then click on create and edit so once you click on create and edit the user form workspace area will be opened so we will wait for the workspace area to be loaded so in this user form we will have to drag and drop the text box area or the text box control and we will enter the text box uh, label as enter the student id and then we will make this field as a required field and then after uh, after creating the text box then we will have to create one button so over here we will give the name to the button as go and then click on the save button so now the user form is created the next step that we have to perform is to create the send email task so in order to create a send email task click on create a bot option and then give the name to your task bot as send email and then click on create and edit so once you click on create and edit the task bot workspace area will be opened so, uh, so over here drag and drop the email uh, send send email action from the email package and over here give the uh, email address to whom you want to send the email so i will give the gmail address that is the static one so you can pass the dynamic email as well and then we will give the subject as improvement needed and over here we will use the uh, email body as your child needs improvement as he has he or she has scored less than the minimum percentage marks so first of all create a variable called as v total percentage which will be of type number and then click on create button so over here pass in the variable name as v total percentage and convert this uh, variable into string variable using the inline conversion that is number to string and then over here in the send email via we will use the email server only and then form address like uh, we will have to give like who will be sending the email so i will use the same email address which i have used at the top and the email server host for the gmail will be smtp.gmail.com email server port will be 587 and uh, use secure connection will be true server requires authentication will be true and then the username uh, we will give the same username that is my email id and then the variable name 
so this will be the the password will be the uh, two factor authentication pa password that you will have to do in your gmail account so the video for uh, enabling two factor authentication and getting the password has been explained in our previous video so i will share the link for that uh, in the uh, description section so you can refer to that uh, video to enable the two factor authentication so over here i will use the variable option and will use the variable uh, to uh, set the password so i have created a variable called as v password to store the password and will give the same variable in the password field and one more thing that you have to do is for v total percentage variable select this use as input option and then click on apply button so this uh, send email task is created so the next the next step that we have to do is to create a process that is the re process so in order to create a process click on the create a process button and then give the name to your process as percentage calculator and then click on create and edit so once you click on create and edit the re workspace area will be open so over here we have to perform some actions so uh, over here click on the start button or start element we will wait for the property section to be loaded so in the property section we will have to select the user form that we have created let us wait for the user form uh, all the user forms that we have created to be loaded in this one and then we will select the user form so the user form that we have created is the enter student id and then select this enter student id user form and then click on the choose button and over here give the request title as percentage calculator and then click on the save button the next step is to call the task bot that we have created so to call the task bot drag and drop the bot task uh, element and then give the name to the element as calculate percentage copy the same name to the task name and then browse the task bot that is the percentage uh, calculate percentage task bot which we have created and then select the choose button so over here click on the save button the next step that we have to perform is to use the if else pair so over here uh, select the condition as number condition and then select the operator uh, source value as press f2 calculate percentage and then the output variable that is v total percentage and then the operator is less than 40 click on the save button so if it is less than 40 we need to call other, uh, again the sub task that is the send email task so drag and drop the bot task again from the elements available under the task category and give the name to the element as send email copy the same name to the task name and then browse the task bot that you have created for sending the email so select the send email task bot and then click on the choose button so over here uh, pass in the value of the total percentage value so again press f2 
and then select the calculate percentage task board and then select the v total percentage task board uh, variable sorry uh, and then click on the save button and in the else section instead of failed we will use the end process status as completed and then click on the save button again so now the re process uh, that we uh, built has been completed so in the next section we will see how to run uh, we will see the bot run or the re process run in order to see whether it is performing as expected or not in this section you will see how to run the bot so to run the re process click on the run button so once you click on the run button a separate re window will be opened so once it loads the user form will be displayed here enter the student id and then click on the submit button so once you click on the submit button the re process will start to deploy the request that we have created so first of all it will uh, invoke or call the calculate percentage task board so where it will calculate the percentage for the employee id or for the student id that we have given and it will check uh, so it will give the percentage of the student that he has scored in his exam so in this case it has scored 27% so now it will send the email stating that there is ne there needs to be some improvement and uh, needed for, from the child side so once it sends the email i will show you the email as to how it looks so now it is invoked in the send email task board still it is in progress uh, state the send email task is in in the in progress state yeah so now the send email task has also been completed successfully and the request has been closed so now we will go and see email, the email as to how it is looking so open the gmail uh, website so this is the email that uh, that was uh, expected to be received and uh, the subject name was subject text was improvement needed so your child needs improvement as he has scored less than the minimum percentage and this is the percentage he has scored with that we have come to the end of our video discussion wherein we saw the real time implementation of use case using re so if you have any queries or issues regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all your queries in the next video we will discuss another real time use case that is how to calculate the employee bonus using re before we before we sign off sign off for the day i request every one of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our youtube channel till then have a great day